Morning YouTube, morning. Right, I've been inspired again. Um, I've been inspired to do this video. <clears throat> I've got six minutes to do it. I've just seen a video now online, yeah. Justin Ryan 1988 video, part of his uh, behind the scenes and his movie collection. And in the background, as he was showing one of his steelbooks, I saw one of his compact discs in the background. Um, and I immediately recognised it. But what it was is that what's buzzed me to do this video is because I saw that the CD I recognised was a reissue of an original release which I had on the CD's original run back in 89. So rather than just leaving a comment, I thought, well, I'll get my lazy ass, shift my ass into gear and do a video. Do some practical. Now, I'm going to start with the, the CD I saw. And I, then I went on to think, well, what I'll do is I'll show off all my CDs which were released in their original forms which have been reissued. Uh, in the form which, um, in specifically, um, Justin has bought in the reissue form. They were, all re they were originally released in the 3 inch CD form, the ones I'm going to show you, in card form, see? I'm sizing. Uh, I've got an icon to see now what I'm doing, bear with me. The one I saw in Justin's collection was a reissue. I'm going to start with this one because it's the one in question. Justin had a, a reissue version of this, but the ones I'm going to show now are the way they were in their original form. They were really, really all really, all the all in their three inch card form. They were all reissued later in years, about ten years later. These were all eighties releases. I remember specifically going to the shops, the record shops and buying these. And they were all held on little racks actually on, on the uh, counter where the tills were where you'd actually pay for your goods. They were like novel items back in the day. Now that's the issue I saw Justin had. They were all reissued in 5 inch format in the larger disc to cover the 5 inch radius um, diameter, sorry, in a standard plastic CD case about 10 years after their original issue run, which was, as I say, in the 80s. That's the one I saw Justin had. Justin had it in the 5 inch form. The standard size form. But this is how they were in their original form. They were all released in 3 inch. I've got 6 minutes to do this. so they, That's how they were all originally released in 3 inch form. Mm -hmm. Same tracks in, when they were reissued in the 5 inch form. Same, no added tracks to them. They were just reissued in a greater size. In a plastic. Stand in, the, in the standard compact disc size we all got to know and love in the 90s onwards, the 5-inch the five size which I'm describing, which I saw in Justin's collection. But that seems a bit battered, see? But I've had this since 1989. But this is how they were released. The, originally there was a sele selection of artists, selection of labels, uh, put out certain, the certain artists which they had the rights to music in 3 inch compact disc form just as compact discs were becoming very novel right, way back in the day when CDs were just being uh, when CDs were overtaking vinyl they were experimenting with compact discs and they put, some labels put out some of their artists music in the three inch compact disc form and I, I, I remember seeing them on the on the counters where the tills were in just like special little racks they were as like novel items like say today super audio compact discs might be seen as novel yeah these were seen as novel back in the late 80s yeah see so how the form three inch and just like SACDs today didn't take off. These didn't take off. They just came and went over a period of three or four years. Come the early nineties, you can't see. Come the early nineties, they just they just disappeared. 
these just all disappeared. And now, in a nutshell, they're very hard to find, Belinda Carlyle. They're all very hard to find now in their original cardboard form. The reissues are everywhere. The reissue, reissues, as I say, in the 5 inch form, in the standard plastic case. They, fl they flooded the market, the reissue versions. But these original issues in their 3 inch form I haven't got enough time now to take each individual disc out. I just haven't got the time now. I've only got about a minute left. These in their original form are extremely difficult to find. And it's just period. Dog eared or not, you're very, be very hard pushed to find them, period, now, in their original cardboard form. I remember saying at the time to myself, I'm going to whip, I'm going to buy them all up because of how cute they looked. But, hang on, I've got no And I remember thinking just how novel they were. This is where I was up to, I was with this one. Door here. Some of them had doors, some of them didn't, but some of them had little doors which opened. There's the disc, I, and I, I, and as it happens, I bought a lot of them at the time. The labels, as I, the labels are putting out their most popular artists, and at the time, I was into buying uh, chart music. And as a, a coincidental, I happened to pick up a lot of these. Uh, they were very novel for their time, just like SACDs um, are now. And have been for a while. Um, I do remember thinking specifically at the time I should buy them all as a, a slight collector of vinyl. I, in my youth, I was, I held that memory. I I do hold that memory to today. Thinking, uh, I do remember distinctly, uh, vividly, thinking at the time when I was buying my stuff at the counter. And I'd see the little racks next to the tills, thinking specifically, I should really buy them all, thinking a potential of their potential value. And and what do you know? It's as quick as a finger. It's as quick as a finger can click. And they disappeared. They just disappeared from the market. And as I say, now nah, uh, about ten years on, they all became reissued in standard five-inch plastic form, see standard CD five-inch form. Same tracks, but just in a larger disc, a larger diameter in the 5 inch stand form, which you've all become known to love. 5 inch size CD. There's another one, Buffalo Stands, Main Cherries. The only one which is quite dog eared, which probably holds, ironically, uh, one of the most popular artists, which probably holds the most value, is probably the one which is the most dog eared in my collection, and it's the one you had just in. And that's probably from a, a result of me playing it the most in my younger days at parties and stuff, because it is the most poppy one out of them all, followed by these human league ones, especially this one I'm holding now. A fascination. All these, as I say, they're all re reissued now. You'll find them all. Flo they're, they're everywhere now, but in their uh, reissued format, in their five inch format. See, there's a slight mark there, a slight defect, it's like uh, wear and tear on the back of the disc here, but you've got to remember I've had these uh, uh, cardboard original issues, right, since 1980, the 1980s, 88 I think, um, the first one, I'm coming to it now, I think the first one, the very first one I bought, it's humanly, is this one by Mr. Mister, uh, this one I think I do remember being one of the first ones, but 89, 89. Gotta remember, I've had all these since 1989, so please forgive the slight dogginess to them. You'll find them all now in their reissued 5 inch form. In, 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 the, in, the, in the 5 inch form. That's actually got print on the spine. But it's very difficult to focus on these things, on these automatic. Because they're getting everything. They try and focus everything. Just got it there, didn't you, the spy? Very difficult to zoom in on, to automatically focus, get auto focus on these spines, the small spines. On vinyl records as well, it's, it's hellishly difficult to get a focus on the spy. There you go. There you go. 
there you go, there's my 3 inch collection, 3 inch CD collection. I did a, a digipack, overview of my digipacks, digipack collection a few months back, and I was inspired to do that. Just like I'm exactly the same here, inspired to do this, my 3 inch CD collection. All these now, you will not find them, and especially not in the good nick which I have these in. I say it's just the first one here, the one I saw in your collection, Justin, which is slight dog eared, slightly dog eared. As you can see on the top there, yeah, it's just slightly dog eared. The others don't hold that dogginess. It's just that one. And I do remember it. I do remember playing that one the most. It's be it's because it's been played the most. See all oh, them. These now probably one of the most valuable selections genres in my CDs. Collection, I've got a shitload of CDs. I am upset that I didn't buy them all at the time. There were more on the market, uh, there were more, more labels put out, uh, more artists, more of their artists on these in this original fringe form. But I just remember at the time just not having the money. I just did not have the money. I just didn't have the money. I just didn't have the money. I remember at the time being gutted I couldn't buy them all. But there you go, that's my 3 inch CD collection inspired by you, Justin, Ryan1988. Bonjour, au revoir.